I only do blank type of nails. I know there's a lot of nail professionals out there that say, you know, they specialize in this one type and that's all I do. Is that a good idea? Is it a good business strategy? We're gonna talk about it right now on the Biz Talk. I only, there's so many things I, it's like ad libs. Remember ad libs where I only do blank nails? Like I'm doing that with my kids right now. This Love is what, that. yes. It's one of my favorites. Nail libs is what we're doing. I only do blank nails. I don't nails. like that. I don't like that. <laughs> I actually don't like it either. It bothered me the second it came out of my mouth. Yeah. I feel like that all the time about you. <laughs> yes, I know. Let's talk about this. Um, I only do a certain style of nails. Um, is that a good business strategy in the nail business to specialize? Now, before you answer that question, let me say this, okay? In the medical world, there are specialists, mm -hmm. right? They specialize in one type of um, medicine, uh, whether they become a surgeon or family practice or whatever, delivering babies, they specialize. And it is a good idea. You know, yeah. people go, obviously, to them for this one thing, and we obviously need that in the medical community. Why not in nails, you know, is that there are people that are doing it, um, but it happens in every industry. You have specialists in construction, right? There's there's subcontractors that specialize. What about in nails? Is that a good idea? Yes and no. Yes and no. That's a great answer. Both. I love it. Go. No, not when you first start. No, I, I, I think unless you have to. This well, is a good answer, actually. Dang it. I'm kind of pissed off, but continue. Yes, it, you're right. <laughs> yes, I'm going to cut you off all the time. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> That's a good answer. I get it now. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, unless you have to, like it only can do gel because we don't do gel in the salon and they don't allow acrylics. Um, but... I don't like the fact that you, you're cutting yourself off to mm. clients and we want clients, obviously. So at first, I'm just taking everything and anything and whatever I can do. Now, in past that, once I build a clientele, you'll kind of start noticing your clientele going towards what you prefer Something. anyway. Right. Like I prefer gel, you know, or acrylic, whatever. You'll notice, you you know, someone will ask you, hey, how much acrylic versus gel do you do? And you, you don't even think about it. You look at your books and you're like, oh, well, crap, I do 90% acrylic yeah. versus gel. So obviously you like acrylic. So yeah, you're specializing in acrylic and maybe eventually you take gel out all together. Right. Um, or I've noticed a, a trend of I only do short nails. Right. Or, I right. only do long nails. That's fine if you have a full clientele. clientele. But you don't want to do that at first because you're cutting, you're you're just you're taking out half of the the customers. Yeah, I'm. It's it's a good answer. I didn't know where you're gonna go with that. I was like, what, yes or no? How is she gonna? And you're absolutely right. Something again. I don't say often here, Tracy. It's the second time. It's the second time. Both on film. It is. <laughs> Vic, you got that? Yeah, she's got it. She's got it. She's gonna show it to everybody. Yeah. Um, I just want one. Like you know how we did the bloopers? Just one. One video. of me saying you're right. You're right, Tracy. You're right, Tracy. You're right. I love it. <laughs> I will I'll never just loop it. <laughs> play it in your car. Um. So. Yeah, that's it's it's really the smart way to go when you're first starting out. Really, in in anything you kind of need to do it all, right? Yeah. Probably in a lot of different professions too, even even in in uh, like in your residency, you're trying to figure out what you want to do. Right. Even before in med school, you're that's where you're figuring kind out what you want to do. General practice, yeah, right? And yeah. then you kind of go start narrowing it down. Yeah, I think, I think when you go to residency, you determine what you want to specialize in. I think that's what you do. And then from there you go. But in the beginning phases, it's you're getting, everybody's getting kind of the same education, general, right. you know, across the board. And so with nails, you cannot turn clients down. And also... Um, it's a good way to force you to learn to do something. So if a client walks in and they're like, you know, I want gel and you're like, shit, I don't do, I don't do gel. And then you turn that client down, right? You don't have an option. And it's like, I better move my butt and learn this now. That's exactly what happened to me. I came home, you know, my husband's like, 
I think I've told you this before, you know, how was it today? I'm like, well, I could have done a full set of jail, but I don't know how. And he's like, I don't want to hear you say that ever again. Like, take a class, you know. Go and, learn. Yeah, go learn it. And I did. Because they don't teach that. Most schools don't teach jail. Right. So you do have to go learn it. I mean, they don't really teach acrylic, though. That is true, but you never even see gel. Right. Yeah. Right. It's like completely blank. Yeah, yeah, completely foreign at the time. So, and And that was sort of that, right? You went... And yeah. you learned. Yeah. And so the next time, at least you can try it on someone, right? Yeah. Who knows how it'll come out, but that's part of the process. I don't know how acrylic's going to turn out, <laughs> yeah. but you know, none of it turns out good when you first get out of school. But right. You practice and you practice. And um, I, I just I just really think it's, I've, I've seen it, Habib. I've yeah. seen people, you know, especially when I had distribution and I did a lot of private classes, girls coming out and... Um, it's more, I think, fear-based. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes I'm sense. I'm only going to do this. And then it, it kind of makes them feel good, you know, and they're just like, uh, you know, it. it it's kind of interesting and not, no offense to anyone, but they, they kind of had an attitude about it. Yeah. And like, I'm only going to do this. And I'm just like, I really don't recommend that. And I would cl- explain it to them and they would insist. And most of those girls didn't continue. If they didn't open up yeah. and, and learn more... They didn't continue in the nail business. You know, you typically, it's, it's a, this is a good kind of conversation. Like most of the time, whatever you do, whatever you start out in, you, you, you start to, um, go towards what you're naturally good at and comfortable, yeah. right? So, like acrylic, if you're naturally comfortable and you just can bang it out and then you, you try gel and it gives you a hard time, you're going to shy away. Maybe, maybe you'll rationalize to yourself, you know, I'm just going to do acrylic. I'm just going to yeah. be an acrylic tech and that's it, you know, or I'm just going to do manicures because I do a mean polish and I love manicures and I'm really good at polishing nails. So I'm going to yeah. stay away from the other stuff. Um, and I can relate to that because even in, uh, in business for a long time, I told myself, well, I'm just an ops guy. You know, I just, uh. I run a business. I'm an ops guy. I was, I terrified of like, I don't want to be on the front or I don't want to like, uh, I don't want to do anything that has to do with a camera. Right. You were always kind of behind. I was scene. behind the scenes yeah. and I was comfortable there. And then what happened? Like it, like that thing that you're talking about happened to us. Our business, the market required that our business change, Right. And I was scared because I didn't want to, I felt like I wasn't good at that. You yeah. know, I'm, I don't want to do social media. I don't want to be on the front lines. And, but it required, I didn't have a choice. Right. You know? And maybe you weren't good at it. At I first. wasn't. So, I wasn't. But how are you ever going to get past that? And that's, that's really yep. a lot of times the, the fear, right? And I, I t- we talk about this in the OWC, people come out of school and they never want to push past the manicures and pedicures because they're afraid of the artificial. And I kind of give an example, like three people pick out, I always pick on the front row. And I'm like, you know, if she is scared and just keeps on doing that one thing, but these two people push past that fear, within six months, they're comfortable and she's still in six months, a yeah. year, two years, still in that fear zone. And yeah. you, that's what you did is you pushed yeah. past the fear zone and I, you sucked it up a little bit. Yeah, had to. And, you know, part of like in the past, I, I didn't do that. So even when I was um, when I was exploring, you know, I went through my phase of music and I was drumming within that the styles of music that I could play, I was very comfortable in mm. like one style, this like slow hip hoppy kind of funk groove type of uh, drumming. And I was always never comfortable, you know, pushing outside of that. And it really hurt me. It yeah. hurt me um, because I could, there's a lot of gigs I couldn't get or turn down because I couldn't play certain styles of music. So I was never, ever able to like branch out in that area. And I would always rationalize it, Trace. I would always say to myself, you know, that this is my, this is wh- where, this is my pocket, you know, is like, right. is in, is here. Staying true to myself. I'm staying true to myself, who I am as a drummer. Like, I don't, I don't do that style. I do this. You know what? It completely impacted me. So, when it came around again to the business, it's I remembered those times of like, you know what? I was afraid. It was true fear. I didn't know it at the time, but I was scared. Yeah. Now I got to just go because if we don't, the same thing's going to happen that happened to me back then to my own like music career. But I can't do that because it's just not me that's impacted. It's our whole family, yeah. our employees, distributors. 
I got to make a move. Right. You know, you could have been out of business and stayed true to yourself. Com- completely, you know, and, and continue to say that phrase. Right. But I think, you know, what you're saying is in the beginning, in the beginning, you got to you got to just kind of like sort of start setting that foundation for all of those types of services, you know, laying it down, trying, getting out of your comfort zone. You build a clientele, and obviously, depending on what market you're in, right? You could be in a market that's, let's say, it's mostly seniors, right? And they're not going to get, you know, three inch stilettos with nail art rocking. Th- yeah. That's not going to happen. So, so what happens if that's your specialty? What happens if that's your I specialty? I only like doing long nails, dude. Dude, and what happens if you have to move yeah. to that area? You're you got a problem. You yeah. know what I mean? It's like you, you need to be able to adjust. Um, you have to have the skills in your back pocket. You know, yeah. even if you don't do it for a long time, like you said, you got to a point where most of your clients were maybe acrylic um, and you didn't even notice it. Uh, but the thing is, it's like riding a bike. If you if you need to do it, it's like, cool, I can bust it out. No problem. Yeah, right? exactly. I, I will take your money. Yeah, I will take your money. I'm going to execute the set because yeah. you've got it. You know how to do it. You practiced it. You built that skill yep. set. So I didn't like Tracy's answer in the beginning of yes and no because <laughs> she does that a lot to me. I always do that. You do. But um, it is, it's the right answer. Ultimately, it's the right answer. And um, I hope that you take those steps. And again, Right now is a good time. If there's a certain area that you're not good at, you've got the time to practice now. So take the time to do it. That way you don't only do blank style of nails. You do all of them to help your career. Thank you, Tracy, once again. Appreciate it. Thank you guys for joining us. And we'll see you next time on The Biz Talk.